energy follows this person. It's like a really dark energy attached to this person. Yeah, somebody here is trying to do some type. We saw the magician and we got the devil and the queen of cups. Somebody here is possibly trying to do some type. Oh, you can't make this up. This person is possibly trying to do a love spell on you. Yeah, to bring you back in. Libra Taurus energy. You can't make this up. They trying to bring you back in, collect. They trying to call you back in. Yeah, you're masculine. Somebody here want to give you the gift of a baby as well. So be very mindful of this person. If you do sleep with this person, collect and make them strap up or, you know, put a condom on, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Because I do see that this person here, somebody here is trying to get somebody pregnant. Somebody, like I said in the beginning, somebody here, you might, you might want to go get a test because I feel like somebody is pregnant here. You don't know. But I feel like somebody has been waiting and waiting. And now you're actually being gifted with this. I don't, however, feel like you want. It's like the person that you, somebody having a baby by. They, that's not the person that they would actually want to choose to be their child's parent, be it male or female. Yeah, it could be an Aquarius here, the Star card. Yeah, as well as a um, a Libra with the Justice card right behind it. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Collective. Yeah, if you're a Libra or an Aquarius here, I do feel like you have somebody coming in towards you that want to work with you. Yeah, the Empress. Yeah, Two of Cups, Soulmate Energy. So some of y'all can have a soulmate coming towards y'all that is actually going to want to be with y'all, work with y'all. But if others of y'all, if y'all were dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra, even a Taurus, this person is coming back and they want to work on this, build this back with you. Some of them have no idea how to get this shit back on track. Baby, you can't make this up. They have no idea. So expect, if you do entertain this person or take this person back or whatever, expect this person to be still standoffish with you, collective. Because it's like they want it, but they don't know how to actually get it. Yeah, seven of swords. Some of y'all don't trust this shit. Don't trust this shit. Especially if this person say they put a condom on. Don't trust it. Watch them put, baby. What it look like he holding in his hand? Examine that motherfucker and make sure he put that condom on. Because if not, I'm promising you in nine months, you're going to be welcoming a baby. By somebody who you don't want a baby with. Yeah. Yeah, somebody here could even come back. Y'all is going to get some type of information here too. This information is going to help you heal yourself and balance yourself out. This could be something to do with somebody here cheating and lying or uh, cheating and producing a child here. So some of y'all could get some information about somebody um, done winning got somebody pregnant outside of y'all's uh, relationship or whatever this is. Hold on, y'all. Okay, sorry about that collective. Yeah, some of these people here, look, they coming back because they got cheated on. Somebody that they possibly left you 28, 28, as I said that. Somebody that they left you for cheated on them and got pregnant. Yeah, this person could have even walked away from them. Somebody here is trying to figure out if they the father of the child here. Yeah, they waiting on like a DNA test or something like that. Yeah, somebody here lost their divine masculine and my condolences to you. It's like somebody even, uh, I'm sorry, but somebody here lost their divine masculine and like they had just had an argument and they hadn't spoken to him. And he passed away. And my, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. My condolences. Yeah, look, the judgment card. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. But yeah, this person here, whomever they are, it's like they're waking up to y'all connection. Why? It's like something spirit. <laughs> Secretly, I want y'all to understand that secretly, whomever the person is that y'all dealing with, you have woken this person up spiritually and they actually watch to row. This is this person actually watches to row. So this person is trying to gain as much information on you as they can. Like if they come back towards you, what can happen? Or are you sleeping with somebody else? Like all kind of stuff. Can this be balanced out? Can this be worked on? Do you still love them? Shit like this. They just trying to gain guidance. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> knowledge about this situation. Especially with this three of pentacles. Information here. But I feel like somebody here now they want to come and like work on this with you. 
But I feel like somebody's spirit is saying somebody is following in your footsteps. <clears throat> yeah, somebody here. I don't know if it, if they like this past person, they want to come back and it be no secrets. They want to lay it all out on the line here. But it's like they don't know if you want to collective. They don't. They have no idea. Yeah, if you have, a, if you're a tarot reader, this person watches your 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 channel. They they do. They on your. They subscribe to your channel. It's like they really trying to figure out what they're listening to your words, trying to figure out how you feel about this connection that y'all that y'all are in. It's like, can it move forward? Three of Pentacles, four of Pentacles. This person is holding on to you very, very tightly. Yeah, they all in a somebody here is very nervous about coming towards you, but they are definitely holding on to you. Somebody here lives in a different state than you. And they nervous about coming. I don't know what this is. Somebody here could even be facing a divorce. Spirit is saying. Hmm. Also, there's some kind of information that's coming in for somebody. I don't know if somebody's in prison or going before a judge or something like that. I feel like whatever this information is, it could get them released. Because it's like, somebody feel like, man, that's so far-fetched. Like, I'm going to be in here for a long time. Nah, somebody only going to be in jail for like, maybe they, maybe they've been there for three years and they saw no, no way out. I feel like this person is getting out. Somebody been in jail for 23 years and they finally getting out. Damn. It's a long time to be somewhere. Seven years. Something here is significant about 17 years as well. Somebody here could have just felt trapped for this long as well in this situation with this person. One of y'all could have just felt trapped. Shit, anywhere from shit, four, five years to 20, 26, 27 years. Just feeling trapped. Let's hear any more about the situation, please. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you give me more on the situation. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. But y'all know y'all good all on all on y'all own. We got the king and the queen of uh, ones out here. I'm just not noticing it. But they are facing two different directions. Somebody, one of, of y'all could have blocked the other one. Our communication is just like really, really bad at this time. Yeah. Somebody here don't even know if they want to speak to the other person. I feel like somebody holding everything to themselves. That's too many. Holy Spirit. Somebody's just keeping everything in, keeping everything to themselves. Somebody want to give y'all something, though. It's like some kind of gift. I do feel like y'all are very spiritually gifted. I feel like somebody want to come through and give y'all the gift of dick, to be honest with you. I'm just going to, I know I said that kind of hard, y'all, but it is what it is. Yeah, I feel like, look, you're going to be ignoring the hell out of this person. I feel like a lot of people trying to come through and sleep with you because you're so beautiful. Your energy is everything. Yeah, magician, as I said, that you make shit happen. You're very attractive. People are very attracted to you right now. Look, I've got the Ace of Pentacles. I see that. Yes, I do. The Ace of Pentacles. You're getting brand new opportunities. Somebody getting a brand new job here. It's like this job going to pay you a lot more money as well. I heard somebody going back to school. Something here is about criminal justice. Or something about um, health care. Somebody's going back to school. I see this paying off. Whatever it is, it's paying off. Everything going in your in your favor, collective. Yeah, but while you doing good, I feel like these uh, this whoever this person is right now, they unstable. This person missed the fuck out of you. Whomever this is resonating with. Oh, my goodness. Like, I can't even. This person can't get themselves together because they just look. Yeah, it could be a Gemini with the lovers on the bottom. But this person loved the fuck out of you. I'm feeling like at this time now, this person, this, this past person willing to cut out anything and anybody that threw in your relationship for real. Anything. Somebody here is very sexually attracted to y'all. I got to get one card. Yeah. They're very sexually attracted to y'all. Holy Spirit, if this person had the chance, what would they even... This sexually attractive person, what would they do to the community? Because I'm hearing somebody want to lay you down. 
Yeah, somebody here want to take y'all out on a date, but y'all be mindful about what I was saying in the beginning of the Yeah, somebody want to take y'all out. It's like they want to, if they don't take you out, somebody want to cook for y'all. It's like a candlelit dinner. Just you and him. Just me and you. Ooh, baby. Somebody name could be Tony. Just me and you. Just us two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Somebody here is nasty. Y'all nasty. Ooh, I can't believe what I'm finna tell y'all. Somebody here. Y'all shit, we all grown, hopefully, anyway. Got the star card. Aquarius energy. Somebody wants to do some nasty... Look, they want... Somebody here wants you to, like, squirt all over them collective. If you're a woman who is lactating, squirt that milk on that man. He, it's going to drive him absolutely crazy. Spirit, why you do this to me? Yeah, look, this is beautiful. If this is a new person or even this old person revamped, it's like this person don't want to just have sex. They want to make love because it's cuddling coming up after this. After all this freaking sneaky stuff y'all about to do, it's cuddling coming up after this. This is beautiful, collective. Embracing. You see, whomever this is, something here, the number 17 is very, very significant. You can't make this shit up. What is this? That's like one and seven, right? What is that? Don't that say 17? Something here is 17, is, uh, 17, 17. Something 17 is very, very significant. Yeah, if they left you to deal with anybody else collective, that was strictly about sex. It was no love there. It was strictly about sex. Mm -hmm. So this person could have been dealing with a lot of other people in the past collective. And now they're figuring out who you are. You the yin to they fucking yang. You the divine counterpart. Yeah, you the blessing sent straight from God himself. Oh, yeah, y'all nasty. Mm -mm, y'all nasty. Y'all y'all into some more shit. Yeah, uh-huh, I see this though. Somebody here could be bisexual. Your masculine loves that shit. Very much so. Yeah, somebody here like to watch porn while they while y'all while intimate with each other. Oh, my goodness. Y'all into too much for me, child. I can't handle this. Let's get one card from this person see what they want to say if they can talk to you collectively. Y'all already know. I should have said this a while ago. This part two. I saw the video switch. I was just so enamored with this reading, y'all. Don't make no sense. We also gonna get some um, um, Zodiacs and a song. Holy Spirit. What would this person like to say to, this, to the collective that this is resonating with? What would this person like to say to the collective that this is resonating with Holy Spirit? Let's see, y'all. What this person got to say to the collective? I hope you can forgive me one day. I don't know what this person did, but I'm feeling like this person either overlooked you or put you in some type of third-party situation. This person is wanting your forgiveness, especially with that judgment card right there. This person right here, I feel like they want you to release harsh judgment of them. Like, you you know what they did. They know what they did. They don't want to. Ooh, they want you. They want you, collective. I want you. Yeah, but they want you to, like, forget the past and look toward the future with them. I wish I could share my good news with you. We did see that page one. Somebody here got some good news. Whomever this person is, something good that happened to them, and they want to they wanna share it with you. Yeah, they don't want to be just your friend. Some of y'all are completely friends on this person. Or you just really don't want to have nothing to do with them on a romantic level. This person wants y'all to be more. Yeah, and again, I hope you can forgive me one day. So, yeah, this person is all in their emotions about you, collective. All in their emotions. This person just sees you in a completely different light here. Y'all already know we're going to get six of the Zodiac, six of the Zodiacs. What's this one right here that's poking up at me? And there we go, Gemini. We've been seeing Gemini. Gemini, the love score. It's right there. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Gemini. Holy shit. I got Cap. What's, it's two right here. I got Capricorn. Virgo. Holy shit. Holy shit. I need three more. I need three more. Holy shit. Okay. There we go. Taurus. So we got all of the earth signs out here. 
So in the reading, we got all of the fire signs. In the signs, we have all of the earth signs. So it could be a, a fire sign dealing with the earth sign, uh, earth sign here. Two more Holy Spirit, two more. Two more Holy Spirit, two more signs. I got one. Actually, that's two. Yeah, we got Leo. Oh, wow. And then we have Aries. So, yeah, it's a fire sign or earth sign out here that this may resonate with. If it does, y'all, y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me go on and get y'all a song so we can get up out of here. I know, I know these videos be long. Y'all, I'll be trying to make them shorter. But y'all know I like giving y'all tea. And then I'm nosy too. So, yeah. Somebody out here, I'm sorry. There, somebody here love your breast. It's like you look very innocent to this person and they love that about you. But it's something, this person find you very, very sick. Your innocence to this person is very sexy. Holy Spirit, can you give us a couple of songs? Holy Spirit, give us songs. Give us a couple of songs, Holy Spirit. Okay, hold on. Holy Spirit, what songs? Holy Spirit, can you give us... Going naked LMA. So, like I told you, somebody here want to get y'all naked, but at the same time, this person want to know can you love them for exactly who they are? So, y'all go listen to the words to the songs of Naked by LMA, and that could possibly resonate with your situation here. Holy Spirit, give me one more, give me one more song. Damn, they gave me two. Fujiano, Molly, my baby mama. Hey, mama ain't shit. She won't let me see my son. I love that damn song. <laughs> but yeah, y'all remember me telling y'all, I, I think it was in this ring. Y'all know my mom that. But didn't I say somebody watch your kids because there's some type of secret addiction possibly going on right up under your nose? If it's not in this reading, it, um, well, it's in this reading. I think it's in the first half of it. Y'all go catch part one. Some of y'all kids could be on some type of illicit drugs or Molly. Or they're going through something where somebody done got somebody pregnant or somebody going through something with their baby mama. Yeah, and then we have Love Galore. Scissor. And who is this? Travis Scott. So, yeah, this person loved the fuck out of you. You possibly have kids with this person. But somebody here is indulging in addictions to try to uh, deal with this song. I mean, to deal with this song. To deal with this situation. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have Unfaithful by Rihanna. Yeah, y'all know that this person wasn't real. And this person knows that you know. And this right here is haunting them. Because you know what I'm feeling, Collective? Seriously, hurting you. Because this is seeming to be your divine uh, partner, your divine counterpart. Hurting you in turn hurt them. So, yeah, if y'all haven't, go listen to all three of those songs. Naked, uh, Molly, and then uh, what was the other one? Love Galore by SZA. Yeah, y'all got this masculine about to go fucking crazy. Like, see, don't let him see y'all with nobody else. Because he ain't going to be able to contain himself, collective. He going to pick up something and hit that man that you with upside his head. <laughs> All right, y'all. That has been the reading. If it resonated, please like, comment, as well as subscribe, my loves. And we will definitely get back up.